Uh, because it's a local charity and you see the mum, you see the family, the dad and everybody at these events, you know. Oxfam's a big thing and all the others, they're big charities. You don't really see where your cut of quid goes. Mm. But this charity, you see where it, where it goes and it's nice. Definitely one of the best charities around and what's cool about it is just that, yeah, so, so many people get sort of behind it and they put on, because of that, you end up getting these massive events. I think mean, it's absolutely fantastic. The fact it's a local charity as well, it's the whole city involved, obviously, for them to then use that for positive use and for good. Um, we set up a trust, obviously, in Tom's memory, with a primary aim to fundraise for uh, to, to research into osteosarcoma. And after losing Tom, and his whole um, spirit and the way he acted and the way he handled everything, he was very strong and we thought we can't leave at this because it, it was very devastating to all the family but none of us had heard of osteosarcoma so in the 20 months since Tom was diagnosed um, to losing them it, it changed the family dramatically about keeping his memory alive no. um, and then also doing something that stopped other families going through what we went through. So we were quite surprised mm. to be nominated and it's very really pleased nice. to um, have won the award and it'll definitely help our charity um, and it's a more about... awareness of what the Trust's doing and when we get to that stage, you know, very soon hopefully get to a million and it'll help us to then mm. um, get to the next stage if that's what we choose to do.